Hello guys, you're welcome back. My name is Fred. So we're going to treat question number four. And this is the one that um, has to do with um, conversion from orthographic into isometry. So the question says, convert the orthographic views in figure 4.4 into isometric block using X as the lowest point. So this is the front elevation. This is obviously a first angle projection, um, front elevation of the plan and the end elevation. So making here the lowest point. So um, if this is your first time here, you might want to go see Introduction to Isometric. Um, there is a box method you can use to project this out, okay? So just go see that video and um, get yourself uh, used to the whole process there and come back to this one and you'll be able to understand. All right, so what I'm going to do is, so if we have a horizontal, vertical, you know, we're going to have a receding line to the left and right. So the question is, what is the total ha length, height, the total length to the right, that's the dimension, and the dimension to the left? You know, this is your 30, and this is your 30. So from this image here, these are examine these are x here. So the length here is we have 40 plus 40 plus 30. That's 110. So this length here is 110. Then the height we can get the height from here. This is 40 plus 20. That's 60. So the height is 60. And um, the receding line to the left we can get it from here. So what is this length here? We can see it here. This is 20 plus 20 plus 20. That's 60 as well. So I'm going to draw the axiometric box of 100, sorry, 110 by 60 by 60. So I'll do that real quick. All right, guys, so here we have the isometric box. Um, now, this, oh, the height here, 60. The dimensions here, 60. While the one to the right here, 110. So I'm going to draw this, project this inside this box to bring out the um, isometric view. Okay, so all of these you see, they are thin lines, so I'm gonna bring out the thick lines gradually. So from here, we have <coughs> this dimension here as 20. So I'm gonna measure 20 here. So this is 20. That's 20. So with that, I'll, so I am starting by drawing uh, this part together with this part, okay? All right, then I'll also bring this out. Now, this is 40. Let me just measure this as well. So we have 40 here. So we have 40 here. So this is 4. And this is zero. Okay, so I will transfer lines. I will transfer. I'll align myself square with this. I will transfer lines to where I measured twenty, and I will draw it all the way. To this point thin lines for now thin lines for now okay then um, I'll transfer this line here to where I measure 20 and I'll draw thin lines here okay so I'm also going to do this, align your circle and transfer lines. to this point here. And just draw thin lines for now. Okay. So remember I measured 40 here. Okay. So I'm going to transfer vertical lines to this point where I measured 40. So align your circle with a vertical line. And um, transfer lines to this point where you measured 40. And I'll just draw thick lines at once. Okay. Then I'll transfer this line.
some sort is lying here. And I will draw it down to this end here. Okay. So I'm going to draw this outline. And I'll draw this outline. I'll draw this. Draw this. This and and I'm also going to outline this part. Okay, so I'm done with this part here in the side. Okay, so I'll proceed now to the back and this part here. Now, from here, we're told that this is 40. So I'm going to measure 40 here. So this is um, zero here, and these are four, 40. Okay. So I'm going to draw this outline here. And I'll draw this outline to 40, where I measured 40. That's my 40. Then I'll transfer vertical line, so align your set square with a vertical line. And transfer lines here to where you measured 40. And draw it to the top. Like this. Then you can now join this point here. With visible outline. Okay, so we're moving on. Now, I want to draw this part. So from here, we know this is in this form, right? And this part is just level, same level as this one. So this one is same level as this one. So what is this distance here? This is 20. So I'm going to measure 20 here. All right? So you know this is at the top here, this point here. This part here is at the top. So here, I'm going to measure 20 here. All right? Then I will also measure 20. So I'll transfer a line here first. So, <clears throat> align your set square and transfer lines all the way to this point and draw thin lines down from here, okay? So, good. Now, I also transfer lines here. Thin lines here. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to measure 20 <clears throat> here. Because we're told this part is 20. So this is 20. All right. 20 there. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to transfer this line. To where I measure 20. And draw this thick line. Okay. Then uh, I'll draw this up. So align with the vertical line. And transfer lines to this point and draw it until it touches the top from those bottom all the way to the top here. So that's it. So I'll print this part. And I'll print this part. Okay, so now I'm going to, we're told that this is 20 also. All right, so I'm going to measure 20 here for this top part, this top here. So I'm going to measure 20 here. So so this is 
Let me take this as zero. So this is one, two. That's 20. Okay. So I'm going to transfer lines. Align with the set. Yo, this line here. Transfer lines here. And make them thin lines for now first. Thin line. And transfer here as well. Where you measure 20. And make it thin line. All right. So... I'll print this part. <sighs> All right. So from here, we also told. So you can see this is 40. This is 40. So that means from here to here is 40 as well. You can see it. So um, <clears throat> since we already have here as 40, I can just transfer vertical lines up for me to get this point here. Or I may as well just measure 40 on it. So. <clears throat> I will just go ahead and measure 40. So measure 40 like this, so it's zero. And this is four. So this is 40. So I'm gonna draw 40 thick line. And um, I will transfer lines to get the other 40 here. So I will align my set square with this line. and transfer line to this point where I measured 40. And I'll draw thick lines to touch this point. And I'll print this part out. So I've gotten this top here. That's what you're seeing here, all right? Now this line here slopes down to this point at the center. Um, I'm talking about this block now, centralized here, all right? So if we measured 20 here, so that means this is 20, as you can see, 20, 20, 20. We'll do the same here. So we'll align <coughs> our ruler like this. So this is, um, as you can see, 60. So this is 20, and this is from here to here is another 20. All right, so I'm gonna connect this point to this point and connect this point to this uh, point where I measure 20. So I'll quickly do that. So connect this point to where you measured um, 20 here and connect this point to where you measured um, 20 here. So we've got on that part. <clears throat> now I'm going to transfer line to complete this part here, this part. So align your set square with this. And transfer lines. You can draw thin lines first. Draw thin lines down like this. Then transfer this line. Sorry, vertical line. Transfer, so align with a vertical line and transfer to this point here. Okay, so I'm going to print this part. Okay. So you can see this it's connected, it's connecting, all right? And it's just representing this line here. So I'm gonna draw it, thick line, and connect. So I have that. Now, remember these are thin lines. They are not part of the drawing, the ones on this side. They're not part of it, so just so we are all clear, all right? But however, if you notice, this part here, because this is not um, a transparent object, it's already obstructing the other corresponding part. Talking about this one here. But you can still see a part of it coming out here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you see what's going on there. All right? So here, we're going to have to complete the other part that will be what? Visible. So since the measurement has been indicated, we're going to draw this part here. We're going to draw this outline here. All right? Then um, I hope that one is, this is properly drawn. Okay. Then um, we're gonna transfer a vertical line 
to this point here and we draw down okay then we draw this part here thick line so that gives you the other part that um, you can't see entirely right so this is the object you've been um, asked to um, convert into isometric very very simple now if you didn't get it the first time go over it again and uh, you might want to go see a video on introduction to isometric I did go see that video so you can learn the basics of this um, so come back to this video and you'll be able to get it right so the next thing you do don't fail very important that you dimension so I'm just quickly um, quickly going to do that I'll dimension the drawing all right so um, you dimension in this form like this um, I'm sure you indicate major dimensions and isometric so this is the bottom the lowest point X here all right so this is how you draw you put up a drawing like this like a boss now subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that please and um also share these videos hit the notification buttons and um i will upload the solution to the other questions and um many more other questions thanks for watching i'll see you some other time bye